Hey everyone. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about facial exercise and I think most people know about facial exercises but very few of us do them. We're kind of wondering do they work, do they not work, will they make matters worse. So I want to talk to you a little bit about it and maybe we'll see for yourself. The most prominent figure behind facial exercises is a lady called Carol Maggio and she's American. She's got books and DVDs out. Now, most recently, and you can find her on YouTube, most recently her face looks, her lips look slightly, I think she's probably had them done, but she says she hasn't, so it looks like she may have had them done to me, but she says she hasn't. Her face is exquisite, there's no doubt. She's in her 60s and there's, there's not a wrinkle, there's not a, it's, it's amazing. Now, about four years ago, she was on QVC here in the UK and I recorded it because I'd heard about it before. And she was live on camera, whatever, and I've never seen a face like it before in my life. It was, the skin was tight, really, really tight. And the cheeks, all the muscle groups in the face were, you could see them. It, it's, would I say it was really, really feminine? No, I wouldn't but it was amazing to watch and it just incredibly, it always stayed with me that segment because her face was just exquisitely amazing. And it just, it's an interesting concept. Now I've got a nutrition and exercise background. So the word hype, um, to enlarge a muscle, hypertrophy, that's what it's called. So to make your muscle bigger, you know, you're creating hypertrophy, it's gonna get bigger, right? So it goes to, you kind of can understand, if you can grow your bicep or your pecs or your whatever you want, you know, if that muscle can enlarge it, then it stands chance that the muscles in the face can also be, in, you know, can also enlarge themselves. And when you build your bicep up, say, and it gets bigger, the skin around it gets tighter and it looks firmer, right? Because the muscle is increasing. Now, it stands to reason if you can do that with your arm, you could do that with some of the muscle groups in your face. And by increasing the size of them, you're gonna fill out some of the wrinkles because the skin will get tighter. One of the reasons that Botox works so beautifully is that it stops muscle movement sort of here, around the eyes. So it's kind of weird that Botox can do that. So you kind of think, well, all this facial moving must be making me wrinkle. So, you know, that's why I think it's such a, it's such a paradox with facial exercises and Botox, because Botox stops you moving them and suddenly they're smooth. Whereas with facial exercise, you're trying to build the muscle up to make the skin firmer. The one thing that Botox doesn't do is it does not increase loss of volume. Now, as we get older, our faces start to lose volume and you know they can go in and, so Botox can smooth it, but it can't build it. So I think the idea behind facial exercises is actually an amazing thing. And there's a few other people who are also quite prominent in that world, and each of them look amazing for their age. So I think it's something that I'm, I'm incredibly interested in it, and I've started to develop a set of exercises, which I'm gonna to start to do, and I'm gonna take a before and after picture in a month, and I'm gonna diligently stick to them so you can kind of see the results that I'll achieve with it, and if I haven't achieved any, and I'll just tell you, and if I've achieved really great results, then I'll share with you the exercises that I'm doing because most of them are isometric, which kind of means you kind of just say hold the muscle and kind of pull against it. So I'm going to be doing some of those and I'm also going to be doing a range of resistant exercises where you are actually pulling against something, a bit of resistance to increase the muscle size. So I will let you know. I must say, check out Carol Maggio on, on YouTube because exquisite. Remember though that I saw her live four years ago and just bizarrely beautiful so I want to see where we can go with this because if we can create muscle growth in our face that's going to fill out and create volume and smooth the skin because it's getting bigger it's stretching then what an excellent excellent way to do it and I really I think the reason it's not quite so popular because it requires work Botox you just inject your face and voila you're smooth whereas with facial exercise you've got to put in the time and the effort every day and I think people would rather just say oh we'll sod that I'll get Botox I'll get a filler so let's see where it goes. So um, wish me luck and we'll start a month on this and we'll see where we go. The areas I'm gonna work on will be the eyes to try and lift the eyebrow up to create more space. And I'm also gonna work on the cheek and the neck. So I'll 
see you all in a month and we'll see what happens. Bye-bye. See ya.